Hello, my name is Hannah Crone, and today I'm going to be doing a director's commentary on my film intro for Mestre the Unthinkable for Ace Media Studies AS level. Before I begin talking about the process of producing my film introduction, I want to talk about how and why I made a film on the topic I did. Alexis Romero, the star actress, has been one of my best friends for years now and one of the only people I share my undying love and passion for the ocean with, as you can see in the footage currently playing. As soon as I received this assignment, I immediately thought of a documentary. I'm a huge fan of National Geographic and would love to film for them one day. But, sadly, my teacher informed me that I would have to go a different route because documentaries are for A-level A students only. So I did some research on one of my favorite activities, free diving. I wanted to particularly portray the feeling of empowerment for young women, especially at this time in politics and global discussion. This is when I came across Audrey Mestre's world records and the headlines of her death. This young woman died doing what she loved most, all while knowing the dangers that came with it. For this, I admire her in every way possible and decided to create a biographical fiction only very loosely based on her early freediving career with uh, an inspiration from Sean McNamara's Soul Surfer film intro. I wanted my film intro not to focus so much on the tragic end to her life, but the perseverance and determination she had to do what people told her she couldn't do, beat male freediving records. Not to mention, Mastery grew up battling scoliosis, making it even harder to accomplish her dreams. All of the audio in my film introduction is original. All sound effects were recorded by me, and the whole soundtrack was film scored by Fausto Capelluto using GarageBand and Logic Pro X. It was greatly appreciated. As the film progresses, the tempo picks up and more instruments are added. I was going for a sense of pride and perseverance while she goes step by step getting ready to jump in and freedive. I contemplated keeping this shot of Alexis looking straight at the camera because at first I thought it lost sense of being professional, but with time I realized I actually really like it and I think it adds character development and intimacy to the film. I used a lot of cross dissolve transitions and medium shots at this point. I used the cross dissolves because it is aesthetic and there was no need for the abruptness of jump cuts at this time. I wanted the shots to flow much like the ocean does. I used medium shots because I thought it was important that the viewer could still see the surrounding environment but was forced to focus in on certain objects such as the fins and the mast because they're important to freediving and to Audrey Master. Now, I've paused this part coming up because it is one of my favorites, so pay close attention. The music builds and get, but gets more quiet, and then I used a jump cut to switch angles of her jumping in, and then the music builds back up and gets louder to signify the rush, the empowerment that she feels with being in her element as she ascends to the surface and begins swimming to start her day freediving. The rest of the film intro is a combination of full, medium, and close-up shots because, as I have found out, you cannot be picky when it comes to the specifics. You go where the ocean takes you, including the camera. At this point, I dove down and put my camera on the bottom so Alexis could swim around it, but we lost it for a few minutes and spent a lot of time looking for it. This final shot was purposefully taken from beneath to symbolize how she is empowered by what she loves, 